Okay, C. Lindelof videos the numeric approach to finding limits as X approaches C. So this is kind of important. I'm using my TI Inspire cast, and I'm also saying that my intention is to populate this thing. That is to say, I'm going to have to prove this limit numerically. So you can use this calculator to just take that limit, which is actually a really easy process. But that's not exactly what we're going to do here. So all I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go to Calculator. That's on your main menu. And then I'm just going to create this function. So I'm going to hit Control Division gives you this. And I'm just going to put this in. X over X minus 5, right? So X minus 5. And then I'm going to just move my cursor over using this button right here. And I'm going to hit Control Store. And I'm going to type in F of X. Whoops. F of X. Hit Enter. It says done. It's kind of anticlimactic, but this is what my intention is. My intention is to prove that this limit does or does not exist numerically. So this is kind of what I've set up over here on the side. I'm going to find my limits numerically. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm looking for the limit as x approaches 5 of our function. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out really, really close. This is crucial. Start out really, really close to the number that you're interested in and then move closer and closer. And then you're going to do the same thing from the other side. So if you can see, I'm going to start at 5.1 and then I'm going to move closer and closer and closer to 5 and see if the limit exists. So this is what happens. This is exactly what happens. I do this. I'm just going to, because I've done this, I'm going to start taking those values that I showed you on the page before. So I'm going to say, what's f of 4.9? Right? Started off at a value very close to 5, but less than 5, right? Because we're looking for the limit at 5. Hit enter. I record that in my table here. I'm going to record that in my table here. And that value is negative 49. I'm not going to do this for every single one of them. I just want to show you what I would have done. Negative 49. And I go back to my calculator. And I take f of 4.99. As you can see, it's getting much closer to 5 now. I'm going to do the same thing again. 4.99. Yeah, hopefully this makes sense. Just for good measure, I'm going to take f of the forbidden number or the number that I'm looking for, and it does come back undefined. We'll go to the other side of 5, and I'm going to start taking those values. Whoops. So f of 5.001, f of 5.01, f of 5.1, and hopefully you can see that we're not trending towards a number, right? This thing is not actually working. It, we're not getting to a number. What would, ha what would happen if the limit existed is we'd start approaching a number very specifically. This thing is making enormous jumps. And here I should have done this one a little bit differently. I should have done 4.99. Let me do that. F of 4.99, right? So we can see this thing is not approaching a limit. I go back to the table, because this is the proof that your professor wants. I go back to the table, I fill in these values. Negative 499, negative 4,999, undefined here. And then if you look over here, 5,001, 501, 51. We are not making a, an approach from either side. So these are the things that you can say. You can say the limit of f of x as x approaches 5, d and e does not exist. You can also say the limit of f of x as x approaches 5 from values greater than 5 equals infinity. Remember, this is an explanation. This infinity is an explanation of why it does not exist because infinity is not a number, right? And lastly, we can say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 5 from values less than 5 equals negative infinity. Remember, negative infinity is also not a number, and therefore it's a description of why does not exist. And I guess if you stayed with me this long, I'll show you really, really quickly how to just do this on your calculator. And you just do it this way. You go to Menu. You pick, you pick calculus, take limit, x goes to 5 of, right, because we already saved our function of f of x, undefined. The limit does not exist. Okay, you guys, I hope this is really helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And you know your comments are always welcome, so thanks for the support, you guys.